Hello YouTube. This is Queen Jen and today I'm going to show you a good deal on the Hershey's candy and the CVS batteries that I did yesterday and also my triple stack trip to CVS today. So let's start over here first. Um, I had a $10 beauty box that I wanted to turn into some regular extra care bucks that can be used on percent off transactions. So what I did was I got three bags. I got two Kit Kats and one of the Reese Cups. And you can see on here that the bags are 20.1 ounce. <clears throat> they are on sale for $5 this week. And they also count towards the $5 ECB back when you purchase $15 worth of products on this page, which these are included in that. I also used three of the $5 off CVS coupons from the little trick-or-treat bags from Sunday. And so those were completely free after the coupon, just pay tax on those and got $5 ECB back. I also picked up four packs of C and D CVS brand alkaline batteries. They're buy one get one free at $6.79. And I used these $2 off coupons that were in the trick or treat bags. Now the interesting thing about these coupons is apparently the first one will scan at $5. I don't know why, I don't know how, I'm not complaining. The second and any further than that will beep and will be have to be manually entered as $2. So the best deal you can do is do two of them at a time, since they're buy one get one free. You'll pay $6.79, use the first coupon which will take off 5 and the second one which will be have to be manually entered, it will take off 2 You'll have $0.31 cents of overage and if you just want batteries, just throw in a caramel or something, they're $0.33 cents, and that should bring your subtotal above 0 so you won't have any problems. Um, on this transaction, I know I said I wanted to use that $10 ECB, so I picked up a pack of party cups. They were $2.49. They're actually buy one, get one 50% off this week, but I just grabbed one sleeve. And the um, Old Spice value pack, it's two packs of deodorant, is $5.99, and you get a $2 ECB back there. So I spent $10 in beauty bucks and got back seven, which to me that's completely worth it to be able to use this on transaction and somehow the beauty buck didn't prompt for the cashier to adjust it so I went negative 52 cents which like never happens to me my grand total was 97 cents so definitely a great day there to get some batteries and some candy for under a dollar okay now to show you my trip today and I will say there's one item missing from this picture it's actually a gift for my husband for his birthday and I don't want him seeing what it is and sometimes he does watch my videos and I will tell y'all that it is a $99 item that is regular price but is featured as a sale item. But your percent off coupons do take effect on this item. I had three percent off coupons. I had a 25% off coupon sent to my card. I had a 20% coupon from the Extra Savings Club Savings Pass that I get each week. Which has been messed up but I'm so glad I got one finally. <laughs> and then I had a 20% off coupon from finding the Medicare Part D brochure in the store. It's a little kiosk, it could be in the front of the store, it could be back by the pharmacy. But if you scan that barcode in the transaction, you'll get a 20% off coupon for your next transaction with a maximum value of $50. Which is different than the extra savings pass and your email coupons because those have a maximum value of $99. And make sure you pay attention to those maximum values because my first attempt at this was a complete fail. I was at one store that had two of the Vero IQs and I had a $430 transaction of non-sale items and my 25% off coupon didn't come up to come off and I kept trying to figure it out and finally I just ended up voiding the transaction and going out to my car and going to another store that was a little bit more coupon friendly because they didn't want to stack percent off at that store either but that's a whole nother spiel <laughs> but apparently because the 25% off was over 99 is why it didn't take off my total. So, my bad on that one. So I went to another store. This was approximately $330 worth of non-sale items. I picked up one of the Vero IQ, which is a great deal if you have the right coupons for it. It's regular price $69.99. If you have any sort of percent off, you're going to get overage on this deal. And actually, you don't even need a percent off, but then tax is just going to eat up your overage. So $69.99, I had approximately 52% off stacking those three coupons, so paid 48% of that, which is approximately 
I used the $45 manufacturer coupon that I printed from Smart Source last night. I believe it's actually out of print now, so I hope you got in on that. And I also used the $40 CVS coupon from the home mailer I got the other day that says $130 worth of savings inside. And that just came to my mailbox. So between my percent off and those two coupons, that was $50 in overage. And that item I told you about that's $99.99 regular price, which if you need to know what it was, just like message me or something. <laughs> so that came to approximately $48. This item paid for that item. I hope they get another one in stock and I've got another stack so I can get one too. <laughs> okay, so that's definitely a great deal if you can find stock of this and all that sort of stuff. I also picked up two other items that I would have never paid full price for. I picked up the Stompy Slippers. They're regular price, although promotional. They are affected by the percent off. They're $19.99 and then the Dreamlight is $29.99. Like I said, 52% off. We paid about half of that. And we had some other average to eat up some of that. I also picked up two of the Nexus. I got a shampoo and conditioner. I had a $3 coupon from the Magic Coupon Machine at the front of the store, the CVS Red Box Machine, whatever you want to call it. And they are still part of the promotion of get $10 ECB when you purchase $20. Then they were $15.79 for the conditioner and $9.79 for the shampoo. So it's still a pretty good deal there. Um, I did pick up these four extras, which are $1.47 as regular price. They were just kind of fillers so I could use the ECBs that I wanted to. Because I had a $30 one, this massive ECB that I wanted to roll. So I, I accomplished that goal today. Um, I picked up the Schick Silk Hydro Razor and Refill. And there's a promotion going on where if you buy one, you get a $4 ECB. So when you buy both and use the buy the refill, get the razor free, and you can also use the $6 internet printable or those combo packs with the shaving cream, or not the shaving cream, the sunscreen in them. They had a $3 off the refill coupon in them, which is what I used on this transaction. Although I messed up and gave them a Schick Disposable BOGO coupon that only took off $10.50 instead of the $12.99. I was so disappointed in myself. And let's see, we also picked up five packs of the Big Comfort. They are regular price $5.49. And the Big Silky Touch is regular price $3.99. With a percent off discounts, like I said again, about approximately half price on that. And then the buy one get one coupons from Smart Source a couple weeks ago automatically take off $7.49. So got a good little bit of overage there to apply to the rest of my total. And then they still didn't really have a whole lot stocked in the Revlon Beauty Tools, but since I had half off basically and I had a rain check for the $5 ECB when you buy two, I did get one of the nail clippers, which is $2.99, two of the emery boards, I want to say those were $4.19, um, this little silver emery board, which is $4.99, and these two little boxes of files, which are $4.39. You can see here my $15 force print, and if we look on here, which I don't know if it'll focus like this, I might have to zoom in and zoom out on it on the table like I've been doing. Ah! Okay, so let's zoom in on this. Sorry, we're trying out a new tripod my husband got today. Okay, so you can see the $1.47 for the things, the detergent, the Nexus, the Chic Hydros, the Big Comfort, the Silky Touch, that item, the $69.99 for the meter, the Revlon files, and other beauty tools. So a total of six items, and we got the $15 force print back there. Use the 45, the 3, the 40, the 3, 7, 49, and the 10, 50 instead of the 12, 99. I know, I hate myself right now. And as you can see, oh, and I forgot to use the $3 off coupon too. Oh my gosh, I so need to go back to the store tomorrow and get like 5 bucks back. Okay, anyways. I used the $30 ECB, the $10 ECB, a $3, and a $1. And you can see here my 3% offs took off 82.73, 49.64, and 39.71. Leaving me with a 73 cent subtotal and 13.80 as or 13.90 as my total out of pocket, and I, I just think it's a great deal for all of this. So these these meters are causing some great overage with percent offs, and you can see here I got my 10 dollar and my 8 dollar, and then the 15 dollar force print. So we spent 44 dollars in ECBs and got back 33. 
And like I said, I'll go by and try and get my coupons back for that tomorrow. Oh, sorry, y'all, I'm leaving y'all, like, unfocused here. And maybe get back $5. So that'll make it a little bit better than it is, actually. So we paid approximately $14 out of pocket, lost about $11 in ECBs, $25 for everything that you see here, and that one other item. <laughs> All right, well, everyone, I hope you're able to take advantage of this deal. I don't know how much longer the stacking of percent offs is going to last, so take advantage of it while you can. Ride this train, and everyone have a happy shopping.